Welcome to the automation journey with Assist Edge. Assist Edge Community Edition enables a user to design automations and run them using an inbuilt robot. The Automation Studio provides a design environment for creating automations. Automations designed in the studio can be executed by the Assist Edge EVA bot, which is the runtime robot. In this video, we will understand the Assist Edge EVA bot in detail. Here is how the EVA bot can be used as a personal robot to run your automations. Create automations in the Assist Edge Automation Studio. Deploy them in the Automation Studio. These automations are now available with the EVA bot. Prepare the EVA bot to run the automations. Set up a trigger or schedule the bot to run automations. Enable the trigger for the EVA bot to run the automation and monitor the EVA bot as it runs your automations. We will now understand how to use the Assist Edge EVA bot. We launch the Assist Edge EVA bot. EVA bot has three main tabs. The Tasks tab lists all the available automations which have been deployed from the Automation Studio. We can set up triggers for running an automation by clicking on an automation. The History tab displays details of the automations that have been run, such as automation name, timestamp, automation status, and a log that lists the stepwise automation status. This automation log also highlights in red the steps for which the automation has failed. The automation status log is useful to identify the failed step, the reason of failure, and helps to debug automation failures. The Help tab provides general information about the EVA bot and links to view a help video. It also provides a link to the EVA bot user guide. Let us view the Assist Edge EVA bot in action. The EVA bot can run automations that have been created and deployed in the Automation Studio. We can set triggers to run automations from the EVA Bot Tasks tab. There are three types of triggers which can be set up, namely Email Trigger, Time Trigger and File Trigger. The icon next to the Enable Disabled Slider button displays the type of the trigger. Setting up an automation trigger consists of three simple steps. Step 1. Set up trigger inputs. Step 2. Save trigger details. Step 3. Enable the trigger. Each trigger type requires different inputs to run an automation. The email trigger requires an email subject as an input. The file trigger requires two inputs namely the folder path and the file name. The file name can be set up as a regular expression. The time trigger can be set up in two ways a simple schedule or a cron schedule. The simple schedule requires two inputs, repeat count and frequency. The repeat count indicates the number of times this automation should be run and the frequency indicates the time interval in seconds between each run. The cron schedule takes a single input and provides flexibility in scheduling. Users can refer to the cron schedule help provided in the reference link. Automation scheduled with a time trigger can also be run instantly by clicking the Run Now button. Depending on the automation trigger set up in the EVA bot, we also need to ensure that the appropriate inputs have been set up in the Automation Studio. In the Process Inputs, ensure that the automation with a file trigger should have the file path provided. The automation with an email trigger should have the email trigger ID provided. And the time trigger does not require any process inputs. If a process requires additional inputs over and above the specified inputs, they can be passed through an external source, for example, an Excel file. 
based on the process inputs set up in the studio. The EVA bot auto selects the trigger type for automations. In case there is a mismatch between the process inputs provided and the trigger setup, EVA bot displays an error message beside that automation. We can fix the mismatch, redeploy the automation in studio, and schedule the automation to be run by the EVA bot. When the EVA bot triggers an automation, it starts blinking in the task tab, indicating that it is currently being executed. The EVA bot signs into applications with the login credentials provided in the studio's setup environment. Even as the EVA bot runs in a minimized mode, the automation start and completion notifications will be visible through pop-up bubbles. We can also view all automation details in the History tab. The Assist Edge EVA bot is your personal robot which automates routine and repetitive processes. It is your automation assistant that runs silently on your machine, shares your workload and enables you to work on the most interesting stuff. Happy automating!